<laughs> Hello guys, today we are continuing our trip from last episode and if you haven't seen it, check it out because it was about one of most amusing roads here in this country. In this episode we are riding on two most known places in Norway, I think, Trollstigen and Geirangere. Both are great and very stunning, so get some tea or coffee and let's go! The trip started on Salchiesnes camping, where we spent the night and at that time we didn't know that we will be back home 550 km later that day. Our camping was very close to Ondalsnes and the beginning of famous road number 63, where Trollstigen and Geiranger is placed. In this area there are only great roads, so imagine how hard time had I to choose the shots for this video. Trollstigen is riding up from Trollstigen camping where this famous troll statue on motorcycle is placed. The road here has many hairpins with great views on the valley and mountains around it. On the top are buildings with restaurants and souvenir shop and also a path to two viewpoints presenting the whole road. We went just on the first one because we didn't have so much time to spend here unfortunately. Trollstigen was opened in 1936 and it took 8 years to build it. Those buildings on the top were made in 2012 and it may be hard to believe but each summer over 1 million people are riding over this great road. The second part of Trollstigen goes way up on the mountains. We were there in the middle of June and that's why we had so much snow everywhere. I don't know how about you, but for me snow landscapes are extra great while motorcycling. In this part Trollstigen is much more open and you could see how different landscape become while riding down to the valleys. To get to Geiranger we had to take a ferry between Linge and Eidstal. It costs 36 koron and takes 13 minutes. The ferry lets you admire wonderful landscape in this area. From now on we are heading straight to Gairange. <music> From Urneswingen to Geiranger leads very curvy road with many hairpins. Be careful here, especially on weekends because of the traffic and thousands of tourists. 
Geiranger Führen is on UNESCO Heritage List since 2005 and it's called one of the most beautiful fjords in the world. The city is very tourist oriented, so there are many restaurants, camping and hotels. The Geiranger Fjord is under constant threat from the mountain Okerneset, which is about to erode into the fjord. A collapse would produce a tsunami hitting several nearby towns including Geiranger and Hedesilt in about 10 minutes. There is a catastrophic movie about this, it's called The Wave and it's pretty good I must say, so I really recommend you to see it. After some time we had to make a break to warm up and have a coffee. This part goes very high in the mountains and it was very cold here. From Lake Dubvatnet you can take a detour to Dalsnibba, Europe's highest fjord view by road, 1500 meters above the sea level. But it's paid and it costs 170 korons for a motorcycle. My advice is to go there only if the weather is perfect. From this point we rode straight home, but we took a longer route. This day was really beautiful, we saw many beautiful spots and iconic places. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If yes, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. See you guys in the next week in the next episode. Thanks for watching and bye.